What is up guys, Tay here. So let's talk about some more MCU shit, and that is the possibility of Thanos being in Thor Ragnarok. Neither Taika Waititi, Kevin Feige, or anyone from Marvel Studios has mentioned this. There was never news of Josh Brolin who plays Thanos being in Australia during filming of Ragnarok, but we never knew Thanos was in the first Guardians of the Galaxy film until it came out, and Josh Brolin didn't even play Thanos in Guardians. He only voiced him. So if Thanos was in Thor Ragnarok, that could very well be the case with that as well. Plus, it doesn't come out for nine more months, and there's a lot that has yet to be revealed. Alright, so... Let's start with what we do know from info that's come out in the last year regarding Phase 3 of the MCU films is that Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, Thor Ragnarok, and Black Panther are all supposed to have endings leading directly into Avengers Infinity War. Out of those three, it would seem likely that Ragnarok will have more ties and connections leading into Infinity War though. Guardians Volume 2 is supposed to have little to do with the other MCU films, and Black Panther is said to be a political thriller in the vein of Captain America the Winter Soldier. Thor Ragnarok, on the other hand, is said to be a cosmic space odyssey taking place on multiple planets as well as Asgard. The chances of at least one, if not two, Infinity Stones being involved in the story is very strong. Anyway, back to Thanos. So I'm not talking about him being in a post credit scene because I don't think that anybody would be surprised if that was the case. I mean, hell, two of Thanos' three appearances in the MCU have been either mid- or end-credit scenes. What I'm wondering about is an actual appearance. If that does turn out to be the case, it will probably still be a brief one like in Guardians of the Galaxy. And if so, will he be sitting in his floaty Cosmothrone the entire time? Yeah, probably. There are a few reasons, though, Thanos would appear in Thor Ragnarok and pretty much all of them have to do with the Infinity Stones. So let's recap. So we know that Hela, who will likely take the plot of Mistress Death in Avengers Infinity War, is invading Asgard, where Loki has secretly usurped Odin's throne and taken over. We also know that the Tesseract, aka the Space Stone, is in Asgard, and maybe the Soul Stone as well. And back in the first Avengers film, Thanos borrowed the Mind Stone to Loki in the form of the Scepter so Loki could use it to retrieve the Tesseract. And not only did Loki not deliver on the Tesseract, but he lost the Scepter. So now that he's in control of Asgard, you gotta think scary old Thanos is gonna be looking to collect like a cosmic Robert De Niro in Goodfellas. It could also be that Hela is involved with Thanos and part of her reason for marching on Asgard is to cohort with Loki and retrieve the Tesseract for Thanos. It would make sense that Thanos would want to acquire the Space Stone first as well, as he can then use it to travel to the locations of other Infinity Stones in Avengers Infinity War or Avengers 4. Which, interestingly enough, Kevin Feige said in an interview that came out earlier today that Thanos' role in Infinity War is so prominent he could be considered the main character. So myself, with all this information, I'm kind of torn 50-50 on whether or not I think Thanos will appear in Thor Ragnarok. I think the chances of him appearing in a end credits or mid credits scene is probably 95%. One of the reasons I think it's definitely possible is because they haven't given much background to Thanos in the movies. Sure, comic book fans know a lot about Thanos, but people who haven't read the comics don't really know much about this guy that's made these brief appearances in three other films. So having him appear in Thor Ragnarok to retrieve at least one of the Infinity Stones, the Tesseract, could lay some groundwork heading into Infinity War, so you are able to just jump right into it instead of having to explain more backstory with Thanos. Either way, however they do it, I'm sure they'll do it well. Uh, Taika Waititi is a great director. If you haven't seen his movie, What We Do in the Shadows, it's so good. Check it out. Very funny. Nothing at all like a Marvel movie, but still really good. And then the Russo brothers who are doing the Infinity War movies are just amazing. So I'm not worried about it, but uh, let me know what you guys think. If you want Thanos to be in Thor Ragnarok or you do not. I have more MCU and Guardians of the Galaxy 2 videos coming up soon. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and I will be back soon with more videos. Thanks a lot guys, talk to you soon.